Well, as Hollywood women in their 40s have proven that age is becoming less of a constraint when it comes to bearing children. But is it healthy or should there be an age limit when it comes to having a baby? Here to debate it, Patty Armstrong is a contributor to CatholicMom.com and has eight children, including two that she birthed after the age of 40. And Dr. Lauren Stryker is assistant clinical professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Northwestern Medical School. We thank you both for being here. Uh, let me start with you, Patty. You've, you've got eight kids. Two were born after you were 40. So why would someone in your mind want to put a limit on when you should be able to have a baby? What's your opinion on that? Uh, it, you know, I think there is a limit. It's called, it's called menopause. So that's your limit right there. <laughs> so you're saying that the body determines by itself when we should stop having kids. We don't need to put Absolutely. a social limit on it. Doctor, do you, if someone comes to you after the age of 40 and says, I'm, I'm pregnant, I'm about to have a baby, would you recommend they not go forward with that pregnancy simply because of their well, age? Well, not really. I mean, Patty's absolutely correct in that menopause is biologically when we're meant to no longer have children. And in fact, biologically, we're meant to have children in our 20s and 30s. But what's happened, of course, is with new technology, donor eggs, in vitro fertilization, we've pushed that envelope. And now we do have women who are in their 40s or even 50s or 60s who come in and say, I want to have a baby. And I think we have to be very, very cautious because aside from the social issues that come with this, there are real medical issues. Like what? And 40, well, well, first of all, 40 is very different than 50 and 60, but we know as women get older that there's increased risk of high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease. We always say that pregnancy is the ultimate stress test. And we're not even talking about chromosomal problems, but we are talking about issues with the baby, preterm labor and delivery, placental issues. So while you can always say the stories of women who do just great, and there are those women, those very carefully selected healthy women, just because you drive the wrong way down a one-way street carefully and don't get killed doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Let me jump in here for just a minute, and I want to go to Patty for a second here. I mean, I've heard those complications happen with women under 40 as well. Patty, would you say there are benefits to having a baby when you're beyond the age of 40? I, I think there's absolutely benefits, and science has taken a look at it, and there are quite a few studies that have been done that women who have children after 39 are more likely to live to 95 to 100. So, you know, that sounds like a pretty healthy thing to me. <laughs> Your son, actually, I read, did he have a comment about that when he heard that study? He did. We were, we were actually watching a program on centurions, and they said that there's a huge percentage of women that live to be 100 that had children after the age of 40. And my son Jacob said, Mom, you're going to live to be 100. <laughs> so, you know. You know, what about those considerations? To me, that is nature saying that these women were healthy enough to have children. Now, I'm not talking about doing sure. artificial things, but if your body is healthy enough to have children, I cannot see any reason why you shouldn't. Okay, it's a great debate here. We want to ask our viewers what they think. We want to thank Dr. Stryker for being with us and Patty Armstrong for your comments today. We'll be on email, Facebook, and You're Twitter. Welcome. Let us know.